Hello friends. Are you tired of writing a very complex and long formula in Microsoft Excel? Are you tired of debugging a very long and complex formula in Microsoft Excel? Then please stay tuned to this video till the end and I'm very sure that this video will change your world in the Microsoft Excel. So here I'm going to show you one function which is very very important in Microsoft Excel and that will make your life very very easy. So let us start with this video and we will see this function which is known as let function. So here in this Excel file, first of all, I'll be telling you that what is this let function, let let function, and then we will see the syntax and then we will see the benefits, the key benefits of uh, let function. And later on, I will give you the examples of this let function. So first of all, let us see that what is this let function. So the let function in Microsoft Excel lets you assign names to calculation results inside a formula. So you can reuse those names instead of repeating the same expression multiple times. Now see, whenever we are writing a very long formula, most of the time what happens that we are writing the same expression again and again. So what will happen that if you are writing that same expression, let's say two times, that Excel will do the calculation two times and that will take a lot of time. So that's why what we can do that whatever that expression or whatever that calculation that we are doing in this Microsoft Excel formula, we can use this let function and that let function can define or it can give a name to that expression and then we can reuse that name many times but remember that that expression will be calculated only once it will not be calculated two times or three times based on your formula so we will see practically what I mean by this particular statement let function it makes the formulas shorter easier to read and faster to calculate so these are the major points of let function now in the let function we are having the syntax that is let bracket name one comma value one and then if you want to write down name two comma value two and then finally we can write down the calculation what is name one name one is the first variable name you want to define must start with a letter and cannot be a cell reference like a1 in the name one we can give some name to a particular let's say a cell or we can give the name to a particular expression so that is what we mean by name one then we are having the value one in the value one we can write down the value to which that name is given or we can also show some calculation for which that name is given then similarly if we are having another name also then we can give here name to value to it is optional but we can write down like this you can also define three names four names also and their values and then finally we have to give the calculation what is calculation here the formula that uses the variables you define so as such reading this content will not really give you an idea that what is this let function but we will now see the practical part also now the key benefits of the let function is this that it improves the readability that is formulas are easier to understand when you use named variables it avoids repetition because if you are doing that same expression again and again so it is one kind of repetition but if you use the let function then it avoids the repetition no need to retype the same formula or part of it multiple times write only once and then you can give the name to that expression or formula and then we can use it many times in the formula better performance complex calculations are done once and reused so whatever the expression you are writing, it will be calculated only once. And then whatever the value which is coming from that calculation that is reused many times. It makes debugging easier. You can isolate and test each variable. We can also check one particular expression and we can check it that where the problem is lying. So now enough of theory part. Let us see the practical part. So here we are having the first example, which is talking about the basic let function usage. Here I've already written the let function, but let us understand. So what it says here, what is the issue here that we want to assign number 10 to variable X and then returns X plus five. So X is 10, so 10 plus five, the result would be 15. So that is what we are getting over here. So now let me double click this cell over here. That is this B45. So see here it is written equal to let. Then what we have to write down. First of all, we have to give some name to that value or to that calculation. So here it is written that X has to be given to the 10 number or X has to be assigned to the 10 number. So X comma. Okay, I'm putting here semicolon, but you put comma in your case. So X comma 10 comma. Then we have to write down the calculation now see here in our case this first example we are having only one name and one value so we will not put any other name and value then we have to directly put the calculation what is the calculation here now see here i don't have to write down 10 plus 5 i have to write down just x plus 5 so x plus 5 bracket complete press enter and now here we are getting the answer 15 because 10 x is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 so here 
we have seen the simple example of the let function now in this case if i double click then here first of all let us see that what is this case over here so it says here that you have to assign phi to a and 10 to b and then it should return a multiplied by b so 10 multiplied by 5 will be 50 so here we are seeing 50 but let us see that how these two things are there okay how these two things are written in the let function so here we have to use two names one is a one is b and we have to assign some value to that a and b and then we have to do the calculation that is a multiplied by b so here if i double click it is written equal to let bracket now we have to first of all start with the name one that is a comma and then we have to write down here name value one so we are writing here phi so phi is assigned to a comma then we have to write down here name two that is b comma and then we have to mention the name value two that is 10 so 10 is assigned to b comma and then we have to write down finally the calculation so calculation is a multiplied by b bracket complete press enter and now here we are getting the answer 50 so let function with multiple variables that is the case over here now the third example is talking about the let function with some calculation so here it says that assign price equal to 100 quantity equal to 3 and then you calculate total which is equal to price multiplied by quantity so 100 multiplied by 3 that is 300 so that should be the total and then it should return total plus 50 total plus 50 will be 300 plus 50 that should be 350 so here we are getting the answer 350 so let us see here the example so equal to let bracket now price price is the name one comma 100 100 is assigned to this price again comma then we have to write down here name two that is quantity qty short form it is written comma three is the name value two so three is assigned to qty quantity comma then we have to write down here the name three which is total now what is total total is price multiplied by quantity so we can write down here also like this that is the calculation so total is defined as price multiplied by quantity and finally we have to write down the final calculation that is total plus 50 so total is price multiplied by quantity it is 100 multiplied by 3 so that will become total that is 300 and 300 plus 50 so answer should here come 350 so this is how we can use the let function with some calculations so here we are having the three examples of let function now if you want to go for one more example then let us see here in this sheet we are having the product column then the unit price quantity then we are having the discount and then here we have to write down the let function so here already the answers are given but let me give you here that example first of all we have to multiply 800 by 2 it will be 1600 1600 minus we have to take the discount now what is the discount it is 10 percent of 800 multiplied by 2 so 1600 and its 10% will be 160. We have to get here the answer 1600 minus 160. So that will give you the answer 1440. So let us see over here equal to let function. In the let function, we have to define first of all this unit price and the quantity. Okay, So I can write down here, let's say UP comma. Then I have to take here this value that is B2 comma. Then I have to write down here quantity. So I'll take here QTY comma then I have to take here this cell that is C2 comma now what I have to do I have to first of all multiply this unit price by quantity so unit price multiplied by quantity so I have to give some kind of a name to that thing so I have to write down here sales yeah sales is equal to unit price multiplied by quantity so sales is the name 3 and now here I can write down just like this that is UP so see as you know write down UP you are having this UP which we have already defined so it is written like this X so up multiply by what we have defined the another one is qty so qty that is this one so sales is equal to up multiply by qty comma now what we have to do that whatever is the sales that i have to deduct from the discount so now see here what is the discount i write down here discount like this dsc comma and then i have to write down here that is this d2 divided by 100 because see this is 10 percent 5 percent 0 percent etc so this whatever this value is there that i have to divide by 100 so this is discount comma now finally what i have to do that i have to deduct this uh, discount from this sales that is what i want to have here so i write down here sales minus dsc bracket complete so finally what i have to do that i have to deduct the discount from the sales so let us see if we get this answer 1440 press enter okay so here we are getting something different so let us try over here so here what i have to do that i have to write down here sales multiply by bracket one minus discount bracket complete and now we'll be getting the answer here so here we did not 
put like this that is one minus discount we directly had written sales multiplied by discount yeah sales multiplied by discount will just give me 160 and then that 160 i have to deduct also from the sales yeah? so that's why it is written like this that is sales multiplied by one minus discount and now we are getting this answer 1440 like this so this is how we are using the let function here this is little bit complex okay but if you understand it very well then it will be easy for you so here equal to let bracket what is up up means the unit price i have defined some name b2 comma qty that is quantity the name is given and that is the c2 cell comma i can also write down this discount that is d2 divided by 100 over here first of all and then i can write down here sales if you want but even this is also fine so what is sales sales is up multiply by qty y comma then i've written here discount i've defined the discount here dsc comma d2 divided by 100 comma and then i am finally doing the calculation that is whatever the sales we are getting here multiply by one minus discount so that will finally give me this value 1440 so friends this is how we can use the let function so please do a good amount of practice here first time if you write down this let function you may not be able to understand but then if you practice yeah in the excel then definitely it will help you so the major benefit of let function is this that overall our expression will become easy and plus we don't have to repeat that expression again and again we don't have to do that calculation again and again here we are having a let's say one value we want to calculate only one value or five values but whenever we are having let's say hundred thousand records and for hundred thousand records if this kind of calculation has to be done it is taking some time that's why this let function will make your life easy now in the next video we'll be talking about the very very important concept in Microsoft Excel which is known as data validation so what is data validation data validation is used to check whatever things which are given by your user or so when you are asking the user their name then they should write only their name they should not write any number they should not write any date over there we have to do a lot of checks in the Microsoft Excel whenever you are gathering the data so what is this data validation how to use this data validation in Microsoft Excel all those things I'll be explaining in the next video so see you in the next video thank you very much